Wednesday, this series inspired by the Adams family and left some points behind in the end and still one of the questions that even the main character does is, who is her stalker, who sends that message? Welcome to another video here about the universe of Wednesday. Before starting leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. In the last episode of the series left some points behind, due to the fact of Xavier giving a cell phone to Wednesday, and when she is in the car, going back to the Adams mansion she receives a message from an unknown number, and even though, he's been watching her steps, and even taking two pictures, one at a time she was there at the cafe with Tyler, and another one receiving her gift with Xavier. I'm going to tell you some possibilities of who is the person would be. The first one that even makes a little sense is Bianca, yeah, that's right, since from the beginning, Wednesday was a threat to her in that school territory, since Wednesday is very smart, she has surprising skills and so a threat to Bianca since she's kind of a queen bee out there that at the beginning of the series, Bianca didn't like Wednesday. So, she could have sent the message to threaten something like that and as much as she helped Wednesday in the end, she didn't because she likes her, and no, she did it for the greater good even for everyone at school, outside of which we also found out that Bianca isn't even called Bianca and they're in the scene with her mother, we find out that she used her siren song gift to get into the Nevermore Academy. She manipulated there so there would be a lot at stake if Wednesday got there opposed, or who knows something else since the prophecy itself did not mention that someone would help Wednesday will know that she knows something else that is part of the prophecy, since she is part of the secret society and could easily have read all the details of the prophecy as the last episode, hinted at that there is still a lot to do and one more detail that strengthens this possibility is that Bianca is the only one who was in the two moments of these photos, since one is at the cafe when it was Wednesday's birthday, she even left Enid's gift there, and Bianca is in charge of taking it to her and the other photo is when you received the cell phone and this happened in the place where Bianca was a few minutes ago. Other than the siren song, Bianca's mother says that they are losing their powers, there could be something involved there. Yes, that is there is a great possibility that it could be even something related to that mermaid thing with her mother that was not resolved this season. Another possibility that is unlikely but, I also do not rule it out is the son of the mayor. Okay, we know he apologized for everything he did with the outcasts, but don't you think it's strange that he didn't suffer much with the death of his father? I don't know if I missed the scene, but I don't remember him being very sad other than that part of the wake. Maybe I can having something to do with his father and it's worth remembering that he has a fight with Wednesday over the first episode when she beats up him and his friends. So, I don't rule it out and also, who will know if the family he couldn't take part in exterminating the outcasts either, since the sheriff at the time was very involved with the family or, even he could be together with Bianca herself because they were very close in the last episodes and in the moments of the photos he could also be present and we didn't see it since Bianca enters at the cafe and he arrives very late for the meeting they were going to have and who guarantees that he didn't arrive before and didn't he took that photo and the photo taken at the moment of the present he could have taken it too. Right it's a great theory comment Bella what you are thinking another possibility is the teacher itself. Let's face it, maybe she didn't die after the bee attack, and Wednesday just stomps on her and after that she doesn't know what the end of her was that is, she didn't die and in the second season we will definitely see her little face again. Could it be that it wasn't she sent the messages herself and could have manipulated someone to take the pictures to keep an eye on her and she already sent the message right away just to lose Wednesday since it would be a little obvious that the same villain is chasing you and in this one we already enter the other possibility of being a new villain. That could be together with the teacher, and even be a relative and agree with the beliefs passed down from generation to generation in the family and no one even noticed and maybe he didn't even show up because how the teacher survived alone, without help from anyone, with all this we'll only find out next season. Another thing that may indicate that there are a lot of people behind it yet the other possibility is the one that makes the most sense who is Tyler's father. He could also have watched the girl, because maybe this all the time with his son who caused the deaths, because he was aware that his mother was an outcast and also a hive. He accused everyone and did not speak nothing about the possibility of having been his son to be a suspected. I think he suspected because when Wednesday talks to him at the police station, she tells him that they can make his son turn against him even though he was supposed to kind of get smart. Besides, he never told the details of the investigation for Tyler, that he asked so much not because he was closed but because maybe he didn't want to give guns to someone who could be the suspect, but he didn't want to believe it, and now, he's after Wednesday for revenge on something from the past that might be connected with her, since he doesn't like the Adams family for some reason, he made his son get arrested, since the last episode shows Tyler arrested. Another detail, the principal didn't die and she faked her own death and impersonated a person, and, we see that she had a great rivalry envy with Morticia, and they know that hatred and envy lead to many situations, she could have sent the message to Wednesday for some form of revenge against Morticia. In my opinion it makes a lot of sense Bianca is the new stalker, since she is one of the only characters we saw in the same place where the photos were taken and even with all that ending, she has a rivalry deep down with Wednesday, so, possibly it could be her even I also do not rule out the possibility of being the son of the mayor of the city, as there is also the possibility of being and the sheriff, Tyler's father. What's your opinion? Leave it in the comments!